What's up, YouTube? Got a new item in today. We're going to do a little, I won't say it's an upgrade, but I'm just going to check it out because there's been a lot of talk about it. But that's this uh, Oval by Detkus. It's an Oval 32 inch, I mean 32 tooth. I'm talking about 32 inch. 32 tooth. Uh, crank up front and I'm replacing the snail 30 oval not over I mean round that I had on there which was this one and what I'm putting that on is my fat bike over here which I haven't done an update lately but I have a 11 to 46 tooth rear cog on it. I changed out the back wheel so that I could put a cassette on it. It has a 15 millimeter through axle with a long derailleur tranny TX and I'm going to be putting it putting the oval on this one and I also have my other fat bike which has the same setup as that one Except for a little difference is the fact that the color is black and silver. And it also has the triple tree forks up front, which I do have a set of suspension forks coming in, triple tree suspensions, because I just want to try the suspension out. I, I like the suspension on the, I like the suspension I got for this one. It really helps out on rides, so. I wanted to go with the suspension on this one also. I was gonna leave it at solid, but yeah, I'm gonna go with the suspension. But I have this one to kind of like do a detail and see how how different they are because this is also a 32 with a 46, 11 to 46. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take both bikes, take them outside and ride one without the oval and ride the one with the oval the one without the oval and then ride the one with the oval and see what kind of differences i feel differences i feel on the on the ride i give a, a review on that when i find out how it is but yeah this is my two fat bikes uh Done some minor upgrades from the factory. Got some 740 handlebars on the front. Oh, you already saw the suspension fork that I added on the front. I have the cable over hydraulic brakes, front and rear. Question, I know I'm probably gonna get, do they work as good as Straight hydraulics. I don't know. I never had straight hydraulics, but I tell you this much. I can't use one finger to, you know, do the stopping. So I'm going to say no, because I've been told that with true hydraulics, which I mean, as in the lever fluid going down to the, going down to the brake itself is all one piece versus the cable over the hydraulic which it works the same concept but uh i don't know the differences of it. i mean it locks up the back wheel it stops me good so i don't have no complaints on it and over here the brakes over here i use the uh i'm using the double pull in other words they have a lever for both sides it's the zooms have a lever for both sides and it moves both brakes in at the same time like hydraulic would. So then you got both sides clamping down on the brake. And it also locks the brakes up. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm not doing any kind of bunny hopping or front wheel standing and none of that fancy stuff. I just want to stop when I'm going down the hill, have good stopping power. So yeah, they give me good stopping power. And I'm gonna give, not gonna ramble on, but I'm gonna 
give that oval a try and see how it works. It's gonna be a difference anyway because it's gonna be a 32. And to be honest, I kind of like the 30 because in my, I wanna say the highest gear, because it's backwards on the bike. It's highest gear is the smallest gear and the lowest gear is the highest, is, is the, the biggest gear. So I don't know, or as I got, I, I think I have it backwards. The high gear is the, the big one. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. So when I'm in 11, like I am right here, and I got the 30 on, I can paddle on flat ground without having to put a lot of effort into it. But over here, when I had the, the um, when I had the factory uh, crank up front, it was like a, I want to say it was a, 36 because it was yeah it was a 36 because it was a I was a one by seven and it had a 36 up front and on flat ground you couldn't hardly pedal in the 11 spot you couldn't hardly pedal with it where it is now when I put the 30 on now I can pedal with a good cadence in the 30 with the 30 on so going back to the 32 i don't know if that's going to make much difference on my pedaling on level ground now going downhill i still it's not like i'm i'm overrunning i mean people who ride bikes they know what i mean by when you're going downhill and you got it in your your lowest or whichever one that is highest gear and you're trying to build speed you don't feel like you're pedaling but you're not getting any any push so I still feel like I'm getting pushed with the 30 going down the hill. But with the 32, I think I get a little more. I just don't know if I'm going to lose any, uh, what do you call it, cadence on flat ground. But we'll see. Let's see. I just wanted to try it out, and I didn't see a 30 tooth oval. So, like I said, we'll see. So it's going to be a difference there because that's a 30 and this is a 32 but the way they said i guess the the 32 would turn into a 30 when you hit the oval and then when you hit the high side of the oval it would turn into a 34. that's my understanding of it but we'll see i'll let you know if it's worth getting or or not to me you know what i mean anybody else i can't say about anybody else how they would feel about it. but to me I would give my opinion on whether or not it's worth getting all right I'll give it a try and get back at you everybody have, I hope you had a happy new year and a good Christmas later